Thanks for uh, committing to participating in this Christmas gift for the guys and the girls out of the park. We're going to have an awesome time sort of showing you some tidbits, uh, so let's get to it. Awesome. Well, Lyndall's done the shopping, so we thought it would be helpful just to quickly go through some of the ingredients. All right. Absolutely. So this is the plum pudding, but you can use a fruitcake, 700 grams. From Woolworths. They're from Woolworths, or you can get them from Aldi or Coles. $4.30. Awesome. Uh, just some orange juice. We need 60 mils, which is a quarter of a cup. Uh, we've got the dark chocolate, which we're going to mix in with the plum pudding, with the Christmas pudding. And uh, this is the white chocolate that melts over the top. For a yeah. And then we've got the snakes, red and green snakes that we're going to cut up to make up the holly. So um, just, as well. and you can eat them, that's right. Save yeah. the red and green ones, but the rest you can eat. Would you like yeah, yeah, snake? Yeah, I love one. Awesome. All right, well, let's, let's get to uh, cooking. Okay, sounds good. And I'm not a very good cook. Lyndall actually did this last week. So you get yeah. this Christmas pudding. You do. You, you put it in the bowl. Okay. And then you crumble it up. Just break it like you this. break it up like that. Please remember to wash your hands because we don't want to make our park food sick. Any tips? Like, do you use uh, a spoon? Or you can use okay. a spoon. Awesome. Or so just break it. it up. Yeah, right. just break it up. That's awesome. totally fine. Okay, cool. Okay, next step is that we're going to melt the dark chocolate bits and we're going to put it in the bowl. We're going to mix it in. Now, uh, we bought a 200 gram pack. It actually says in the recipe 250, but we're going to go with 200. And then we're going to pop it in the microwave. So it says 50% yeah. power. Yeah. What's that? Like medium, medium to uh, just medium. <laughs> medium to medium. <laughs> we'll do that again. Uh, we've done this in three 30 second increments. We have, and doesn't that look great? Oh, so so this is pretty moist already. So what yeah. we do with the chocolate? Okay, we need to pour it in here, mix it in with the. But the tip is to be very careful that you do it a bit at a time because we don't want it to be too runny otherwise you can't make it into balls. We tried that, Chris and I had a go last week <laughs> and, it and, it was cool. and it was disastrous. So will I still use my fingers or a spoon? And maybe the spoon, I okay, think. Cool. Do you want the wooden spoon? Uh, no, I was normally here that I thought I'm going to get smacked. <laughs> so, so we keep them top. Okay, again. well you might want to use a bit of spoon, I think. Do you want to use a bit? That's only a teaspoon. Okay, add the orange juice. Oh yeah, yeah. just yeah. hold on a second with the orange juice. Yeah, why? Because the last time that Chris and I did it, it just turned out to, to be slop. So this is the right consistency? I think it is. So come, come yeah. have a look. So we haven't added any orange juice to yeah. it. So yeah. you want something just, that's what, formable? Like I this? think so, yeah. That you can actually roll into a ball and it doesn't stick to your hands or everything else. Okay, yeah. right. So we haven't added anything because our mixture's already yeah. moist enough. That's still looking good. You would need probably a decent tablespoon uh, of mixture that you can roll up into a nice ball. We're aiming for something yeah. about that. Yeah. So they're roughly yeah. consistent. We want our friends to have sort of something that's similar to each other. And we didn't measure it. <laughs> and it's five <laughs> centimetres. It five centimetres, yeah, cool. <laughs> right. For about 20 minutes, eating some rolls while these have been wow. in the fridge. Look at these, awesome. aren't they awesome? We've got our so chocolate good. once again in the microwave. Yeah, and we've got a bit of a tip. We've got a trick here. If you use one of these environmentally friendly plastic bags, um, you can pour the melted chocolate and that melted white chocolate into it. Yeah. Yep. And then, once you've got it in... Create like a piping bag. That's it. Now, if you have your own piping bag, then you can certainly use that. But sense. if you're not a baker, like me, you improvise. So you just cut a little bit? Yes, please. Just cut it like that. Perfect. Yeah. And then... What then, are we doing here? Well, I'm thinking, start from the outside and just go around it in the circle. Yeah. Like this? Yeah, beautiful. Just and, that? Yeah, and, and oh, well, it needs to be completely covered though, okay. because uh, we're going to decorate So we it. want all these to look pretty much the same. We do, we okay. do. I wonder if we need to use a spoon too, do you think? Just a, or a, a spoon yeah. or a knife? Okay. Um, we want these to yeah. look like holly on top. So That's we're going exactly right. red, yeah, or perfect. green, red, uh, yeah, green. green, red and green. Oh, that looks fantastic. Yeah, look at that. That, that, that really looks, looks good. Busy. It so does. I that like looks... One. So uh, green. Oh, no. Well, we will after this. Red. Yeah. Green. They are looking so nice. Look at that. See that? That's gorgeous. That's almost professional. We um, just want to say thanks. Good luck. 
Uh, may God be with you <laughs> as you do this. Thanks for your it's time and your fun. generosity. Yeah. And um, bring them to church on Sunday. Absolutely. And shall we try one? Just yeah. to see what they're like. Okay. Cheers. That is really good. Yeah. I don't normally like it with pudding, but that is really nice.